Howdy folks and welcome back to this let's play of Stellaris. My name is Nelius and this is episode 2 of our new let's play series which we're playing in Iron Man mode. So let's load up the last point where we had left off and we actually had gotten to the point where we could choose our new tradition. Now let's first observe what we actually got. Our expansion is here. New colonies start with one additional population. Adopting all expansion traditionally increase all our core systems by two. In addition, we have un uh, we will unlock one ascension perk slot. Then we got domination, which I don't think is really our way. Prosperity. Um, there is no better indicator of success or failure of a star nation than the strength of its economy. So adoption effect. Mining station build cost is reduced by 33%. Expansion at the same time, of course. Uh, supremacy, border range increased. I don't think that's the one we want to go for. Diplomacy, that's a, a, yeah, a reassuring one. Diplomatic influence cost is reduced by 50%, and your trust growth increased by 33%. Finishing effect, adopt all diplomatic traditions increase our trust cap by plus 50 in addition we will unlock one ascension perk discovery our curiosity about the universe is what got us this far and as harmony few things can match the strength of a content population working towards a common goal the happiness of all populations increased by 10 percent finisher effect adopting all harmony tradition reduced mineral cost of Consumer goods used by our population by 15%. In addition, we will unlock one essential perk. Mind and body is one of the ones in there. A work of harmony, kinship, uh, huh? greater good, unrest is reduced, utopia dream, and this is a bulwark of harmony. While in a defensive war with another empire, ship build speed is increased by 33%. In addition, the fire rate is increased by 15% for, for ships within your borders. Cool. Let's get the clock running. Let's see where this takes us. Right, we have our fleet here. That is at the moment without orders, it looks like. We are going to send them orders to basically explore further here. to any other aliens here, but we'll see how that goes. Let's see, where does this take us from there? Tile blocker cleared. Cool. If we go back to Seoul for a second. Uh, miniature station cost. So our agenda is to secure the borders. Station build cost is in, in reduced, damage is increased, and health is increased. Okay. The ship here has started basically exploring that system already for us, which is good. A construction ship can actually be sent over here already. Uh, or do I want to do that already straight away? Let's actually go and survey that system here first before we go over there. Just because it's within my range already, if there's any beneficial resources there, we could straight away start harvesting those. Um, on the planet itself, what have we got here on the surface? I'm going to 
place he built here. Okay, I think I said the rights. Interesting. Citizenship is full. Citizenship. Living standards. Decent living standards. Situation log updated. Before we developed faster than light travel, several sublight exploration probes were dispatched from Earth at near relativistic speed towards nearby state systems. The scientists who developed the probes naively included sensitive information about our culture in their memory cores as a form of greeting to alien civilizations. It's now been realized that this data could potentially be used against us. We need to track down these probes before they are found by someone or something unsympathetic to our species. <clears throat> Situation log updated. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in a system. These strange objects have been flagged as Epsilon aliens. Okay. Well, let's briefly pause the game. So let's walk through these here in the meantime. Uh, happiness increased. Consumer goods use is also increased to 1.5. So at the moment that we're consuming 8 units. Let's leave that as stands. Full military service. Species. Yeah, good. Colonization rights. Colonization allowed. Population control. No population control. Migration control. No, no migration control. And slavery type. No slavery is outlawed. So that's good. It's so again a new feature compared to what we had in the previous Let's Play that we went through. Now these look to be defending that station there. Right, they're not moving into my ships, so that's good. Oh boy. Um, where is this? Another system yet again. Alright, they're not moving in either, so that's good again. Ah, good. We can build a mining station here. It's said that there is an option for me to set found. Up. Let's pause this for a second. Let's actually there's a forty percent risk. Due to the scientist skill level being lower than the leave it be for now. Uh, no purge policy or foreign ties. Yep, yeah, good. Increases happiness again. Twenty-four percent of our population currently embrace this et ethic. Okay, that's fine, I guess. <clears throat> what I was looking for was those policies and edicts, wasn't it? See where our research stands. 17 months remaining on that one, 14 months on that one. Okay, I guess we can live with that. Okay, where have we got those marked? Okay, that sounds reasonable. thing is how do I get down here <clears throat> okay, let's leave that for the moment being normally I'm leaving for the moment being as well contacts we got the enclave here what can we communicate with them okay I was actually looking for the policy on food Stockpile. 
It's probably chart the growth of an interstellar empire must utilize our food surplus in a way that best suits the need of our population. Okay. A balanced approach to stockpile will allow us to use our food surplus towards growth. Okay, so we're focusing on population growth at the moment, it looks like. Here we don't have enough resources for anything, but I potentially could go for the farm here. I just need to have 60 <coughs> resources at my disposal. Can't upgrade any of these yet. Again, that's of course ourselves. Tell us more about your troop, okay. become their patron was that as that do okay <clears throat> system survey complete expansion planner what is this is survey is colonizable Just at the edge of our borders there, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So, what else can we do here? Let's speed up the game a little bit. Let's see what kind of progression we can get here. Ship has left already and is now construction complete. Researching this system here. We would also need to basically explore that system there. That's the next in the queue. And I've set further missions on there already. We're going to build here a hydroplane farm. the food production even further there. Here we will be building a basic scientific lab. There's the administrative building there. Member of a particular faction. Oh, that's nice to be able to see. Research complete. Cool. Let's choose a new research project. Research speed is increased, which would be really, really useful. Ship mounted gravity sensors. Let's go for the. Uh, research speed at the moment. Okay, that's another station it looks like with a swarm around it, which we'll be able to yeah, deal with. Of 
food represents the various nutrients required to sustain and grow population. Surplus food will be stockpiled according to the stock and contributed uh, and contributed to the food is full. Additional food can be grown by constructing farms. Okay. System survey complete. Sign ships are always useful. Access remembers has picked up a signal from the discarded uh, signal boy belonging to one of our survey sublight probes in the motor. There's an ion trail leading away from the boy on the trajectory towards another system so that someone has towed the probe there for unknown reasons. Situation log updated. Alright, let's go back there. Construction complete. Construction to be completed. Good, 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 good. I could, of course, claim some systems if I wanted to. It would be useful to claim this one here potentially. But also, that one down there would be useful to claim. Anyways, I can actually go to my solar system. On Earth, I can actually build myself another science ship. So I commissioned a new science ship, which should help me. In terms of research, one month away from the next iron thruster. We found our missing probe. A small fleet of jury-rigged ships have been detected in the Kazabias and an unobjectionable probe locked in a short-range tractor beam. They are hailing us. Salvage, Skipper. What do you want, alien? This probe is ours. Salvage. We find first. You leave now? Yes. Interrupt. Delicate operations. Your ships are here. Must concentrate. Or, if you want probe, we could sell for 100 credits and probe yours. Good deal. Very good. You get probe. Less work for us. Let's buy that back. Very good, very, very good. We release probe into your care. May be a bit banged up, but there were accidental collision during salvage operation. Mig Y fell on controls. Clumsy oaf. But probe still in good condition. No refund. We depart now. Good. So that should actually have dealt with the first probe. The salvagers keep their word and transfer the probe to our control. As soon as the transfer was complete, their fleet departs the system on an unknown heading. Although the probe is rough in a rough condition, we managed to download detailed sensor readings for the entire Kazabia system from its memory banks. Good. Research complete. What's the new research we're going to focus in on? We are going to go for the... Hmm. Mining network, I guess. Because we're so under strength in terms of our mining. Let's reduce this game speed for just a second. We got this science ship here doing its survey.
Destruction ship strike fleet is ready there. Where else do we want to send them now? Let's go and survey that system there. Good. Construction complete. So we got no leader at the moment. We can recruit one. What's it going to cost? Influence. Either experience gain, research speeds, materials. Let's go for the experience gain here. Let's pick her up. So this new ship here can be assigned a new mission. set. So we've got two research vessels on missions at the present. <clears throat> Anomaly found. Alright, let's research that one. Research complete. Space routes. Ah, I've got a new one to set. Empire leader capacity. To increase leader pool size is increased by one. Maximum influence from factions is plus one. Uh, hold on. Edict product planning uh, for capital. it's more expensive I'll go for that one now I do have a few items of research to do here it takes me five months it says so let's go for that one aha uh -huh. Moodstrom number two was home to a small Voltun outpost where they traded with several neighboring civilizations at some point the trade post appeared to have been converted into a religious mission where the Voltum attempted to convert visiting alien merchants to their philosophy. Trade ceased shortly afterwards and the plant was eventually abandoned. Fascinating. Situation log updated. Hold on. Sand must have a skill level of four or higher. Okay, we don't have that at the moment, but that's fine. <clears throat> System survey complete. Survey properly. The scientist has leveled physics research, and this one is focused on the engineering research. So that's these two here that are basically have increased in level. Research speed is increased by a couple percent, two percent, four percent. Good. Extra lifespan. Research speed particles is increased. Now, this is not particles, but okay. Anyways, we're still going through all these systems here, checking for any potential upswings, useful planets. Good. He's improved in skill level as well, which is great. 
We're currently investigating the beta aliens. System survey complete. So it's plus 14, plus 4, and plus 4. We're getting there. Procyon system has been surveyed. There's really nothing to be found in that system, it looks like. ISS Sprite has detected massive subspace anomalies in the uh, one of our missing solid probes. Situation log Caution. updated. Interesting. What is this? Void cloud subspace anomaly. Cloud entity class. Subspace anomaly hostile. Okay. So could I somehow mark this system as still needing attention? Interesting that I have to mark it up as being blocked by aliens again, but that's okay. It looks like I do need to basically add the aliens on my list of potential annoyances. I can add the solar panels to there. Anomaly found. Okay. Situation log updated. Okay, we need a signed ship for that purpose. Special project complete. Let's have a look at factions, where they stand. 55% at the moment, which is fine. The diviner's name will be Float Through the Dark. Tianki, we are to keep our you are we are to keep our respectful distance. <clears throat> Tech research option gained, frequency tuning. Tech progress gained, frequency tuning plus 20%. This option is available due to psychic foundation, having the fanatical uh, spiritualist. Venerable. Cool. Okay. Nine months that would cost me. Really? Let's briefly pop over to Earth, see what I actually have on the planet here. That stands at 25 out of the 46. That's doing 5 in terms of production here, which is fine. through to our next column of the option. What we have assumed was an abandoned small gas giant is in fact not. Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This was proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on Earth. Interesting. Okay, so let's pause the game and actually let's save away the game for the next episode. So. This particular leader has gained, of course, a skill level. 
Of course, like I said, we're going to save away the game as basically we would expect to do. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing your comments and, of course, your feedback on the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.